This episode of Destructoid is brought to you by Jack Threads. Coming up on Destructoid, we run down our hopes, dreams, and predictions for E3 2012. Oh dear God, it's only a week away! All that and more right now on Destructoid. Welcome to Destructoid, I'm Tara Long. And I'm Max Scoville. We're getting so close, man. It's so close. It's actually... We're not even here right now. We've recorded this episode in advance because today is Memorial Day, so normally you could say Happy Memorial Day to I'm me. I'm out memorializing right now, okay? Yes, I'm sorry. But E3 is a week away from the day. Oh my gosh, The E3. Electronics yeah. Entertainments Expo is coming to kill us. Indeed. And it's exciting. It's all the new stuff. It's yeah. the biggest biggest trade show for like video game stuff of yeah. the year. And all next week we're going to be down in LA covering it. We'll have literally thousands of videos for you guys. Literally. Maybe not thousands, but like thousands. probably close to 100. And uh, we wanted to just kind of take this episode to cover our predictions, our expectations, yeah. and then the second half we our can talk about our, our hopes dreams. and dreams. Just hopes and dreams in are general. Really the important part. Yeah. Uh, why don't you start us off with, mm, I don't know, Nintendo? Nintendo. So this is actually the last press conference of E3, um, although it starts technically before. Um, but yeah, this is like kind of theirs to lose, really. They're going to be like the only one of the big three companies that's showing off any new hardware that we know of, and uh, like it or not, that we use. It's kind of going to be our first glimpse at like the next generation of consoles, uh, if you can call it next gen. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, let's let's recap what we know so far. Final hardware. That's we important. don't know. We don't know what the final hardware is. We don't really. Uh, yeah. We showed some leaked photos last week of the tablet's new design with thumbsticks instead of nubs. We still don't know if that's true. That I'm could hoping have been it an is. Older version. It you know? could be an older version. There's really no know. telling at this point. We don't point. know anything. We don't know anything. Um, we can speculate though. We we know almost certainly now that it's not going to have a multi-touch. Screen. Oh, great. Um, I hate multi touch screens. Yeah. Good I, thinking, Nintendo. Well, that also significantly lowers the price, I'm True. guessing. We don't so, have a price for this thing. We don't have a price. We don't have a release date. We're not going to get that at E3. We're just going to get probably a lot of games. Yeah, and, which is fun because yeah, video games are games what are we like to buy video game consoles for mostly. Well, yeah, and as far as hardware goes, you know, Nintendo's really putting a huge emphasis on online functionality now. Uh, we've got this new glimpse of the Nintendo Network which claim, they claim they're going to be able to uh. offer launch titles digitally distributed on launch day. So mm. I be, don't know if that's... It must be very exciting for them that somebody finally came over and helped them set up that darn modem so they yes, can go on that, the internet. that darn internet dial-up. There's dial a whole up. World Wide Web out yeah. there. But they also, um, they've got, I mean, they're doing the same day digital distribution. Yeah, they're starting that with new Super Mario Brothers 2, um, which is going to be both a Wii U and a 3DS title. Still not sure how those are going to be able to interact, if at all. Um, I, I just don't know. Um, but there are some, some good 3DS games on the table. I know we're going to be seeing Luigi's Mansion. Um, new Super Mario Brothers 2, obviously. Uh, we're going to be seeing a new Pikmin, I believe. That's for the Wii U, not the 3DS. God. Um, all sorts of stuff. Like, and, and it's really kind of nebulous at this point. What's going to be available for the 3DS and what's going to be available for the Wii U? Are there going to be like cross-platform stuff? Is it going to be first-party titles or are they going to be available on other consoles as well? It's, it's really kind of up in the air right now. I just, I mean, that Luigi, does he really need another mansion? Okay. That man has too many gold coins. I love Luigi. Yeah, I know. Um, There's ghosts but, in that but mansion. But you know anyway. what? Third party titles are going to be big for them. Yes! Like, that's like they really, really huge. They need that. They, they need, need that, that to make the Wii U like just stand a chance at launch. Yeah. I'm so, actually, I'm weirdly excited for LEGO City Stories. Because it sounds like LEGO Grand Theft Auto, probably with less hookers and crime, but you know, still, it's like an open yeah. world Lego game that's not themed after some, yeah. you know, franchise thing. Well, we're also going to be seeing um, Assassin's Creed on mm -hmm. the Wii U. We're going to be seeing uh, Darksiders 2, probably. Uh, Rayman Legends is another one that I'm probably most excited about on the Wii U. That'll uh, be interesting. Yeah, so it'll be fun. So that's What's Nintendo. Sony? Sony's good. Sony's press conference is happening uh, Monday night at 6 p.m. when y'all should be sitting down eating dinner, you hear? Um, so before anyone gets their hopes up about what Sony's going to be showing at E3, please remember that they said pretty much point blank that they're not going to be showing off any hardware. I know, I know we all want to see the PlayStation Forbus or the Orbis or the 4 or the Furby or whatever they're going to call it, but that's not happening unless it is happening, in which case they are liars. Uh, what, I, what I hope we get to see though is, is um, stuff for the Vita. We saw the Vita unveiled, you know, yeah, last, that's, that's last year and then some of us 
bought it and and it doesn't really have that many games for it. So a lot of people who bought Vitas are really hoping there are more games. And I mean, 3DS had a slow start too. Yeah. Uh, I know that there are a lot of uh, Vita games that were hinted at, like um, there's a Call of Duty that's been hinted at, there's supposedly a Bioshock, there's a... Uh, uh, Assassin's Creed, maybe? There's mm -hmm. Final Fantasy X HD, I think that was a thing that was talked mm -hmm. about. In any case, some Final Fantasy, probably. Um, Killzone, any, any of these would be yeah. exciting games to come to this system so that people could play them. Um, you know what, I'm hopeful for that, though, because Vita just launched. PS3 is kind of nearing the end of its life cycle. I wouldn't be surprised if they put a way bigger emphasis on Vita titles now than yeah. they did for PS3. Very true. We do know that we're definitely going to see some, some PS3 stuff. Um, three games I would be willing to bet money we're going to be seeing in their big, stinky, smelly press conference. Number one, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Yep. That, of course, is the <coughs> Super Smash Brothers knockoff uh, that has, you know, PlayStation characters in it. Um, I, we know that, like, you know, Sweet Tooth and... Um, um, some other PlayStation guys are in there. I can only remember Nathan Drake, Kratos, and, and Parappa. What we we've heard um, some of the, some voice actors. There's the voice actor for Cole McGrath from Infamous. He mentioned something about it, and also mentioned uh, in that same sentence uh, David Hayter and uh, Nolan North, the voices of Solid Snake and, yeah. uh, and and Nathan Drake. So presumably we're going to be seeing the guy from Infamous, the guy from Metal Gear, and the guy from Uncharted. And they're all going to be jumping around, hitting each other with Just stuff. Um, like one giant orgy. Yeah, we haven't really seen much of that game, but I mean they're probably going to be pushing that because oh, yeah, that is yeah. like a family kind of title. Uh, next is God of War Ascension, of course. Oh, yes. um, they they uh, This is a weird game because it's God of War, a really successful series, and they're pushing forward with uh, a sort of a prequel reboot that's you know showing Kratos as a teenager or something, or young Kratos, mm -hmm. the early years, whatever. Uh, but they showed off the multiplayer before, which nobody was yeah. expecting. No one was expecting multiplayer. If they were, nobody was expecting it before they start expecting it. It's just, it's a weird, almost tacked on thing, and I think they're probably going to be really pushing yeah. that, but they also want to wow the hardcore fans by yeah. showing off some kind of a, a story trailer. Oh, I'm, I'm sure they'll have some campaign. And they're going to have Kratos, and he's going to be like, oh, I'm 14 years old, I hate my mom! And then it's like, press X to slam door, and he's like, oh, you're not my real dad, Jerry! Anyway, um, I'm sure we're going to see God of War. Also, uh, The Last of Us. That's Naughty Dog's new uh, survival uh, post-apocalyptic thing that everyone's really looking forward to, which uh, we've only seen, um, you know, cinematic trailers and some leaked screenshots for. So gameplay for that is probably going to be a big, uh, big exciting thing to yeah, show off. Yeah, it's going to be a big draw. Yeah, um, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if they dropped that. And of course, that's mm -hmm. a PS3 exclusive. Finally, I, this is totally like a dark horse, uh, you know, wild speculation, but Agent is a game that got announced way back in 2009 as a... Uh, PlayStation 3 exclusive coming from uh, you know Rockstar that's about uh, being a spy in the Cold War and apparently it's been in the works since 2007 and no one's seen anything about it aside from some uh, some artwork from some dude's resume mm -hmm. uh, and as of as of exactly a year ago it uh, one of the guys from from Take Two Interactive said that it it, it is in, in progress it is still being worked on it's not like something that got scrapped so maybe we'll see that you never know yeah. things get announced at E3 and then they don't come out for like several years yeah. later so it's hard to tell at this point. Games, um, serious one company that we haven't talked about is Microsoft. I know we've their, talked about them their before. Their press, no, never in my life. No. Um, but their press conference is going to be the first one. Actually, it's going to be on Monday morning, probably at around nine, nine thirty a.m. Um, and they've pretty much come out and said there's not going to be any new hardware. Um, it'd be ridiculous if they were like, gotcha, at the last second. So that's l not likely to happen. Um, so I think games are obviously going to be the big draw for them. And Halo 4 is obviously the flagship of that. Uh, we've seen like some brief cinematic glimpses of it at last year's E3. Um, and then hopefully we'll, this time we'll, we'll get a little glimpse of the campaign. Uh, probably an extended look at the multiplayer. Um, but this is like without a doubt X Xbox's biggest game in the show. So yeah. it'll be fun to see well, how if, people. Yeah. They've got a they got a they got a big party happy and happy. They do have too. a big party. Uh, Hamza Halo. Aziz is going to yeah. be there along with our producer Zach. Hamza's we a big invited. old big old Halo fanboy, and he likes to go to these these parties and have like three beers and then stand next to a warthog and just be all like. And then uh, get uh, drunk on camera. Yeah, that, that's um, what he does. So that's does. exciting. There's also they've got games. They've got yeah. There's some first party titles out there. Uh, you got Forza Horizon is going to be a big one. Fable Journey, Ooh. Sands, Peter Molyneux probably. I want to play that because it's a connect game where you can pat horses. You can pet the horse oh. if you do your videos first. Mm. Um, and then Connect stuff, which they haven't really told us much about. So they always have a big, like, Connect area. I'm sure we'll do some kind of wrap up video with that. Um, but as far as third party titles go, Black Ops 2 yeah. is going to be the yeah. killer, I think, of the show. And uh, Microsoft's press conference, because it's first, 
if there's any any like footage of that, it's probably going to get shown off. There, yeah, I mean, they, so. it, it sells. It's the best-selling game of all time. Whatever. Yeah. They started off last year's press conference with Modern Warfare 3 and Robert Bowling have to, having to reconnect his controller. Yeah. That was embarrassing. Yeah. Um, also, there's the Skyrim DLC. Yeah, Skyrim Dawn was a Guard. hugely popular game. They've got Microsoft has first dibs, of course, on on the DLC for that. That's yes, coming to yes. Xbox versions first. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure we'll see some more like Connect functionality implemented within you know, games like that. Um, it'll yeah. be interesting to see how they take advantage of it. And also multimedia is going to be a huge yes, thing. Um, I'm sure there'll be plenty of new stuff on the dashboard to yeah. look at and skip past lots of advertisements. If only they'd make a Revision 3 app. That sure would be nifty. They would. Um, they'll, I'm sure there'll be a lot of new announcements of like video partnerships and yeah. stuff. So. Um, I think the big question though is uh, Grand Theft Auto 5? Is that going to be a thing? Is it? We don't know. Anyone we don't know, know these things. Do you know? We want to see Grand Theft Auto V. It looks interesting. They, uh, I mean, they could they could basically shop their trailer around yeah, to the big three much. and be like, well, who wants this? <laughs> I mean, the, pay us money. Yeah. You can have it. But I mean, the trailer <laughs> that they put out before, they just kind of dropped that. Just. You know, by itself. Yeah, and we still don't even have a release date. We still don't know if it's coming out in 2012, nothing. 2013. There's nope. there's no way of knowing. Um, so, like I said, three separate press conferences. We're actually gonna have like separate videos, like going yep. over all of them yeah. as they happen. So, so you don't you, even have to watch the press conferences. You don't have to do that. You watch our really, videos. Okay. You can just watch our videos. Yeah. Our videos are the best, yeah, anyway. So, cool. I mean, just saying, please watch our videos. Why don't we take a second to thank our sponsor, and then we will get back with our let's hopes. do that. Paying big stupid piles of money for clothes is dumb, so don't do it. Instead, check out jackthreads.com. At Jack Threads, you can score premium brands at up to 80% off retail price. And by premium brands, I don't mean frumpy old lady clothes for smelly dorks. I mean good looking stuff that people actually wear, such as this jacket, which I, I really like this jacket. Um, they've got stuff besides clothes too. They've got a great selection of shoes, watches, hats, sunglasses, as well as handy accessories like iPhone cases and headphones. Uh, normally there is a wait list to join. It's very selective. But if you head to jackthreads.com slash destruct, you will get instant access to all the killer clothes right now. It is free to sign up. It helps us make the show. Again, that is jackthreads.com slash destruct for y'all instant swagger. So, we're back. Uh, it is time to run down our hopes and dreams for I E3. I want a, a pony. There will be no pony games at E3 this oh, year, Tara. That wasn't really Squashing your dreams is what I'm here to do. Um, I want to go first. Can okay, I go first? Sure. Okay. Um, I want to see Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I've I've sort of been trying to sit on my excitement for this game. I'm a big Metal Gear fan. I'm not a fan of Raiden so much, but this game looks like really cool. And in a very troll move, Konami just put up a nice little video the other day, which is just the just just the start screen the the menu screen for their E3 demo. So it starts up and you've got the copyright info and the Konami logo and then it's just different very fashionable angles of Raiden looking all angry with his sword and it says press start at the bottom. So it looks cool. I want to play it. I'm going to play it. I want to cut stuff up. That's awesome. Um, obviously I want to see GTA 5 if they if they have that. I don't know I what we're going to see. I think that's pretty much everyone's. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, you know Vita stuff cuz I have a Vita and I'd like to justify that purchase. Sony, hurry up with games. Um, but of course, new IPs are always exciting. New IPs are fun. They are very fun um, because you know frankly it's it's the games that haven't come out that you can play inside your exactly. brain with your imagination. And everybody's just on the same level also. Yeah. Nobody's played it before. Yep. It's always everyone's just right there. No one's you. an expert. No um, one's as for me, smarty pants. As for me, I am probably most excited about Nintendo, which is weird. Um, Microsoft, I think, should be exciting for good XBLA games. They've always got great stuff there. Um, but I'm mostly I'm just excited to actually get my hands on and touch a Wii U. Indeed. Yeah. Um, and I want to see Rayman Legends on it, obviously. Um, and then AAA titles, Borderlands 2 is probably what I'm most excited about. I actually have an appointment and uh, we're going to get to play all four classes. Nice. So that'll be really Very fun. cool. Yes. I'm also looking forward to Dawn Guard, in which I will ask them if there are new fish in the DLC. Yes. I'm sure everyone's going to get mad at me for that. Probably. But I'll ask about crossbows too, guys. It's cool. Um, but yeah, we're going yeah. to be covering E3. We're going to be at, at the E3 thing doing that, putting up videos. So just make sure you're subscribed to, to this channel. And what's the other one? Rev3 Games. Rev3 yep. Games. I wore Rev the t-shirt yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, so make sure you're subscribed to both. We will literally be putting up like tons and tons of videos. So 
whatever game you're interested in, I'm sure there'll be something on it. In the meantime, we're going to be back here on Wednesday with another regularly scheduled stupid boring news program. Lame. You so. guys can, uh, of course, follow us on Twitter as well. I'm at Max Scoville. She's at Tara Longest. And together we are at Detoid Show, which is a great place for all the latest updates of things that we do and, and stuff. But uh, we'll see you guys Wednesday. Good night.